My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission, never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice, because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking All questions. Clear, sir. Potentially turn on Monarch. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our Mr. side. Serene? But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. How long until the core is ready for transport? It'll be en route to Monarch headquarters in less than an hour. Installation should be complete before the gala. Good. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. Initialize a PR campaign. I want a statement. And that violence was because of Jack Joyce. Monarch would take a PR-friendly approach and manipulate the public into siding with us. Our lies would give us control. The manhunt continues as authorities search for Jack Joyce. Hey, nobody's sneaking around down there. Hey! I think that's Jack Joyce! We'd use the media to expose, then hunt for Jack. I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch security station. But the eyewitnesses would be out there, and Jack would learn our secrets. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Wait! Monarch would take a hardline approach. Crush all obstacles, eliminate all witnesses. It would be harsh. But I had made hard choices for the greater good before. I dug through the area and I found everything I could on your bro. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. But the people of Riverport would turn against us. You our secrets would be safe, but the public would hate us, and Jack would gain new allies. Monarch's got no authority to stop you, and you tell that to everybody on that bridge. We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased.
Take her and the others to the Ground Zero operation. Make it quick. Painless. No. Wait. There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Paul, oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Time's up. What do you want? Names, witnesses, anyone who might implicate Monarch. See those two men on either side of me? I'm going to stand. I'm going to leave. And the one on your right is going to shoot you in the head. Fuck you. Seems your work's been undone. We just lost communication with Jack Joyce's transport. How the fuck does that happen? Knowing how isn't important. You just need to find him. Wincott is working on a location. Great. What is it? What? Something's wrong. University. That's not how we operate. It was sloppy. Have all your operations gone smoothly? Go home, Liam. Wait for the call. I'm sure your wife misses you. City Hall servers are on a different platform than the rest of her report because they have all these government contractors who need two-way access. That means weaknesses. So, oh, we have, huh? Where? Where what? Where, oh, weaknesses, you said. Shut the fuck up, Brenner. Now, all we have to do is identify as a client who had previous access, maneuver our way through all the holes poked in the firewall, and assuming all these ports are just left open, then all we have to do is use the protocol numbers and just move our way up. Simple? Come on. Come on. And...
and we're in. Yeah? Street cams, dash cams, computers at headquarters. I mean, hell, I could hijack police scanners and put out an APB on your mom. What the fuck is that? What is that? Coffee? Yeah, I know, it's coffee. What the fuck is it doing on my desk, Brenner? Have you ever seen one of these? Hmm? You know what it is? It's a coaster. Coaster. Yeah, do they have these in Idaho? Iowa. Whatever. Use it. Now, can you tell me what's next, Brenner? I don't know. I know you don't know, and that makes me sad for you. All we do now, we draft an email to Mayor Rackley letting him know that Monarch is offering their private security forces, which of course he's gonna take, because at this point, without him knowing, we've tied both his hands behind his back when he wasn't looking. <laughs> and that, Brenner, is how you take Riverport under Monarch control. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> Mr. Hatch, perfect timing. Just... Wincott, where are we with Joyce? Joyce, yeah, I, uh, I've got the cameras. I just need to find a locale. Keep an eye on it. And when you find him, contact Burke directly. I think we have a traitor in our midst. Traitor? Hello? Hello, man. I'll let you go, Mr. Hatch. Thank you. Was that Martin Hatch? Get the fuck out of my office. Get the fuck out of my office. Things have been really bad at work. I'm sorry. I just... I dreamt you were a cat. A cat? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> With these big furry bear paws. Way too big for your body. It was a strange creature. But I knew it was you. I have to get back to work soon. You work more than any field manager in the history of field managers. <sighs> Baby, you haven't been home in two days. Your mom's being difficult. Oh, I'm, I'm, she is. I'm she's being, being difficult, huh? She's being very difficult. <laughs> what is um, it? What? <laughs> I don't think that's the Come baby. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. You would. <laughs> Got a lead on Joyce. What is it? I was able to track his transpo to a warehouse on Burgundy and Wilkins. It's inside Ground Zero Perimeter. Sending you the coordinates now. Oh. 
I gotta go. One that could boil over at any moment. Riverport police are asking that citizens stay clear of the area and avoid. demanding answers. Our thoughts are with the families of Amy Ferraro and all others who are missing at this time. More on this story as it develops. Paul, there's been a development. Jack, you've already seen it. Tonight on the island, he'll be there and he'll want revenge. I need him stopped now. I think our focus may be somewhat misguided here. Your fifth calm traitor? You shouldn't take it so lightly. Joyce got lucky. He escaped. He's gone. He wouldn't be foolish enough to come back. Our only vulnerability is within, Paul. You should see that. Telling me what I've already seen. You're not thinking clearly. You need your treatment. You've been the face of Monarch for all these years, Martin. But let's get clear on something. This is still my ship. And I simply don't want to see you go down with it. Just find him. holding regarding last night's violence at Riverport University. The Riverport Police Department is currently investigating the premature demolition of the University Library. Monarch Solutions is lending a hand in this investigation. I want to encourage the people of Riverport to offer them every assistance in finding those responsible. Two bacon and eggs sandwiches? Thanks. A government bill to crack down on laboratory experiments on end numbers is expected to become law today. Animal rights activists. What's up, IT? And you wish I was IT. Hey, you don't have security clearance being here. Security clearance? Access granted. I thought you might have been up all night, so. You didn't get the runny kind, did you? No, it shouldn't be. It's cool, they're new. Oh, man. Fiona Miller. Terminated. You're fired. So what the, what's the 411? What the hell's going on out there? <laughs> the 411. Yeah, the 411. <laughs> uh, everything's, everything's fine. Everything's fine? Everything's fine. There was a shootout at the university last night. Nothing I couldn't handle. All right. You think they're going to cancel the party tonight? Are you kidding? No way. Hatch knows what he's doing. You going to go? To a party? Me? Go to a party. I don't know. We can roll together if you want. Uh, OK. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll go. Okay, buddy. What are you gonna wear? Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll go naked. 
Nice, I like that. Um, I gotta get back to my desk, so. See you tonight? Yeah. I'll see you tonight. Yep. Buddy. And this isn't what it looks like. Fuck, Beth. I really didn't want it to be you. You need to listen to me. Step away from the van. Step away! Right now! Drop the gun. I can't do that. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman for shit. No. No! He's gone. Do you see what's happening? The stutters. More and more. Beth, Beth, what is, what is going on? Time is breaking down. The end is coming, and Joyce could be the key. Wait, 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 wait the, the, the end, the end of what? Beth, the end of what, the of end time, of what? Of time, of time, of life as we know it, the entire universe, gone. And somehow, Monarch has been preparing for it. They knew it was coming. There's this thing. It's called a lifeboat protocol, and it can save us, at least some of us. Put your hands on your head, down on your knees. Brown. Wilder, do not make me ask again. Oh. Joyce just took down half my men. You think maybe he had some help? We're unarmed. I was responding I to I not give home. a fuck. Hey, I am with Monarch. On your knees! If they take me in, then it's the end for me. And for you. Now! I'm just do what he says. Do not let them take us. We'll never find the lifeboat. Think about Emily. Just relax. Liam! Shut up! This lifeboat protocol, what is it? I don't know, but Dr. Kim was at the center of it. Dr. Kim? If you can get into his lab. That's impossible. It's been closed up since he disappeared. Do you know anyone who could get you in? Golden boy. Favor. Yeah. Okay, um, could we talk somewhere private? Uh, I'd really rather not. But in your office would be good. It'll be really quick. Yeah. 
What happened with Joyce? Oh, there's nothing there. Huh, there's nothing there? He, like, he just wasn't there, like, or what? No, Hatch, he, um, he reassigned me. He wants me to secure the perimeter lab on the island. He thinks huh. Joyce might go there. Hey, he sent me here to get access to it. Can you help me out? Yeah, sure, let me, uh, let me see what I can do. Thank you. You know, it's really funny that you say that, uh, that lead on Joyce was no good because, I don't know, uh, it sure looks like he was there. And that other guy kind of looks like you, but that's weird because you work for Monarch and that guy clearly, <laughs> clearly does not work for Monarch. Now, I can zoom in. Hey, hey, wait, stop killing me, because I just put a high security alert out on your ass. You got about 20 seconds. You're bluffing. Hey, you're welcome to stick around and try to find out. You know what I'm going to do to you. I have a pretty good idea what Monarch's going to do to you. In about 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10. Good luck, buddy. Nine, eight. We need all points converged on Liam Burke. He's armed and dangerous. Listen up, he's on level B near the main overpass. Just a reminder to Monarch employees, get your flu shots. We are free of charge. Get them in HR. I repeat, south parking structure, fourth floor. He's heading south on Eastman, south on Eastman. Phantom team, he's headed to you. He's flying, look out. Copy. Cut him off, cut him. Go. Come on, you got this.
Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well... Uh... <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? I'm sleepwalking. Step away! Right now! You've three seconds till I pull. Have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. <laughs> We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. Still waiting to wake up. Beth Wilder risked blowing her cover to rescue you. Sounds like you didn't exactly return the favor. No. I didn't. forward. That's weird. Okay, doesn't last. Noted. When the fracture broke time, some objects became unstable. With my new abilities, I can manipulate their timelines, rewind them. There's still no word from Burke on Jack Joyce's position. Very well. Ready a chopper for me at the dry dock. 
I'm heading to the island. Roger. We'll have the chopper. Seeing Paul's face on that screen. It was some kind of sick reminder. I couldn't escape what had happened, what he did. I needed to know why, but part of me wanted to put a fucking bullet in his head before he could open his mouth. Want us to send additional teams to search for Joyce? Negative. Focus efforts on disposing of those witnesses. Clear any trace of our involvement. Jack will come to us at the island tonight. During the gala? You're sure? Positive. Dispose of the witnesses. This is the last of the witnesses? No. Reaper team's finishing up with the last of them in A3. You didn't expect to be leaving the university with a kill list. Why not do it with the campus? Who exposed the campus to finish there? It's him! Joyce is here! Looks like the only way out of here. There's got to be a generator around here somewhere. No power. Figures. Okay. Looks like that elevator needs power. There we go. What the hell is that? Hello? Jack, this is Beth Wilder. Beth? I'm... You're the one my brother was looking for. I'm the one who was attempting to rescue your ass until you decided to go on a gun-blazing ship parade through that warehouse. Now listen closely. You're at the outskirts of a Monarch Cronin harvesting operation, and Paul Serene is at the dry docks nearby. Not a recipe for fun times. So how about Dry docks? If Paul's at the dry docks, then that's where I'm No! At. Jack, the fracture is our only priority now. Time is ending. Will said he... Will's dead. My best friend came back a goddamn monster. He knew this would happen. He prepared for it. But Paul's the key to understanding all this. And I'm gonna find him. They both know that if you find Serene, you're not gonna be asking questions. Think this through. Paul was at the dry docks in the distance. I recognized the place. William had a workshop in that industrial area for years. I knew that couldn't be a coincidence. Ah, for Christ's sake. 
misfire. You're supposed to be the ones who's friggin' protecting us! Is it the firing pin again? Yeah, I think so. Solutions building a better future. Are you fucking kidding me? What was that? Oh, great. You're the taxi guy. You drove me to the university. What is all this? They're killing everybody. Everybody from the university, they grabbed me out of my goddamn cab. Jesus. You saved my ass. How'd you get free? I'm still figuring that out. You motherfuckers. Keep fighting. Those were my last words to her. Sent chills up my spine to think I might have... We're not here to talk about Amy Ferrero. Look. I need to get to the dry docks. Do you know how to get there? Dry docks, uh... Yeah, I think I know the way. Whatever you need, I got your back. It's a push. We got to make it through that building to get to the dry dock. Thank Christ you're okay. What about that guy you went to see at the campus? Did he get out all right? No. Not exactly. This is messed up, man. I trusted Monarch. We can't let them get away with this. Gate's locked. This guy's got a gate doohickey around here. I'll take a look. I can't believe this. Oh, hey, the gate's open. Okay, uh, gate's closing too fast. Not necessarily. Get past that gate. Oh shit. You just. What are you? Some kind of goddamn X Men? That was. Okay. Don't panic. It's, um. Friggin' sick, man! Alright. Not the reaction I expected. I knew this kind of crap existed! Driving a cab, I've seen some stuff, man. Oh, I'm just glad you're on my side. So, so you're like a government experiment. Uh, did they tell you what's going on here? I only know what my brother told me. Time is breaking down and Monarch is involved somehow. Shit. It's like Watergate all over again. It's really not. So what is this place? What was Monarch doing at the university? Get me to that dry dock, and I'll find out. locked. There's got to be another way inside. Looks like there's an open window up above. It's worth a shot. Wait here, I'll try that. This place 
gives me the creeps. Theories, man. Okay, check it out. You know how we all got jobs? Mo what makes us think that it's not the same for ghosts in the ghost world? You still with me? Okay, so this whole place is a huge industrial area. And it's where all the ghosts did all the ghost work. You know, building ghost boats or whatever. And then, in 2010, they all lost their jobs. There was a big ghost recession. And, and now they just creep around all unemployed or whatever. <gasps> okay, that last part needs some work. The first part is pretty fun. Yeah, that's definitely a theory. Hit. Need to get up to that open window. Is that another one of those rewind things? I'm starting to get the hang of this. All right. <laughs> Made it. Now to get to that door. Starting to get a little antsy out there. All right, where are we going to next? Oh, hey, there's a map over here. We can figure out the best route to the dry docks. Hey, Magellan, you want to take a look at the map? Channel. Sure, Clarice, listen. Hatch told me to search for Joyce. I've got footage of Burke taken out of Garden A1. Back of Monarch truck was left open. Now I'm checking cameras in A3 and guards are either sleeping on the job or, you know, not sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Catch my drift? Joyce. <laughs> With a trajectory towards kicking over some expensive-ass sandcastles. Look, I'm gonna keep looking for him. I'm just giving you a heads up, okay? Over an, over an hour or whatever.
Hmm. Security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro. You think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right. I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel 3. I'll open up the door for you. Deal. Keep safe. Still no word on Joyce's location. Yeah, heard his brother scream like a bitch when he died. When he shows his face, I'll make him do the same. Son of a... Are you there? Talk to me. Where am I going? That warehouse is split into two halves. Find the exit, take the alley to the other side, and let me know when you're there. All right. Oh, Shotgunner advancing on hostile. Mother. You want to talk this out? On the bridge. Oh, uh, map says you're heading towards a storage facility for uh, Meyer Joyce particles and harvesting equipment. Joyce particles? This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Your bro? Y you don't think he's working for. No. I, I don't know what to think, but Paul is up to something big. See if you can find out more. Yeah, I'm on it. Do this.
the move. in the harvesting warehouse. Looks like there's no clear exit on the ground level. Head for the upper floors when you're ready. No clear exit down here. May have to head upward. Will doing in there. Those dates, 1999 and 2010. Here is where it gets scary. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Times 11 by 2010 backwards. Zero, one, one, two, two. It's not exact, but it's like a couple numbers off from being our zip code. Uh huh. Keep me posted. Okay, getting closer, I think. Now, which way's the dry dock? So this thing okay, in the looks like the trailer has power now. It was bad before. It's real bad now. It's bad, and Bobby's bad. Okay. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there, but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul at the dry docks. Serene's not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel one is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Ah, oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. It's 
locked. There's got to be another way to get through here. Nick, you still there? I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was I wanted to see what was going on. And it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks answering. guys. Oh, 
technology for his men to move through stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Holy shit. And yet he never tried to stop it. Will never told you That's what he did in that workshop? At Ground Zero? No, never. He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. What the hell? What is this? Hell, hell. What is, what this? is this? That already happened. What the fuck? Specifically requested copper clad niobium. Well, there's no words to describe it. Will was gone. He was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. <laughs> Need my grant extended, extended another year. year. Please, Please, don't do don't this. Do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible don't to crack. overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul.
There was something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this is... now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Sir. Paul. Stop! Come back, God damn it! Don't.
stutters were getting bad. Be shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did. That's gonna hurt. Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the band. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. Ride my music. Deal with it. I love this song. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that could stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Will's key. Maybe it unlocks this. The key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. 
Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Hey, I think I found a way in. Something you want to say, Nick? You work for Monarch. Have you ever heard of the zip code theory? No. Stutters aren't going away. <clears throat> Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. We need to we keep need our to keep contact, contact limited from this point forward. forward. I'll find I'll you find on the countermeasures complete. complete. Come on, Will. What did you want me to find here? You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet mouse, Schrodinger, in order... He's gone. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. Come on, come on, come on. You're okay. You're all right. You're all right. Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger into the machine clockwise through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so, yeah. Turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for five minutes, took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. Okay, the machine is warming up again. Should be able to activate test number two in around about five minutes and 15 seconds. It's now clear the only quantifiable test will be travel to the past. The machine is now calibrated to send Schrodinger five minutes into the past, which means that he will now be traveling counterclockwise through the corridor, and when he comes out the other... Holy shit. Holy shit, it worked. This... This is clear proof that it's... Uh, what I'm... What I'm now looking at is a future version of the same mouse that has successfully traveled five minutes into the past. Schrodinger, meet future you. Ow, that fucker bit me. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats? $12,000 moving bill. You must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Back. 
This is Bobby Radford with the latest. We've got an official statement from Monarch Solutions, and <laughs> it's just what you'd expect, really. You know, your typical slick, mealy mouth bullshit. I'll sum it up for you. As far as they're concerned, the whole thing was some kind of an accident with the premature demolition. Some lives were tragically lost due to that. They're investigating. Essentially, they're saying, no comment, don't worry about it. Nobody has access to the site right now. All we know is what they tell us. Thing is, there were a lot of people there. Some people I know personally. Seems to me a lot of folks ain't answering their phones now. So what's that mean, huh? I think it means that we... Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. If it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. <clears throat> but I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. 
Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I help them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. What the shit? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. You must have hit it here. What is this? A goddamn spaceship? Okay, core controls. Where are they? Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. Could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. Here goes nothing. actually worked. Okay, we activate the corridor next. Whoo! Jesus, look at that thing go! Will's key. Thank God. Oh! Did you guys see that? Will's key did that? Yeah. Key to a time machine and he left it in the trunk of his goddamn car. <laughs> That's my brother in a nutshell. Let's just hope it still works. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video in your Ground Zero. Serene's had a Cronin research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. 